Yo, 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 booyakasha. All right, here we go, man. AOD 9604, I know I've already done it. I'm gonna do, I did the two milligram before. This time I'm gonna do uh, five milligram AOD 9604. All right, so let's go over this real quick. Not this easy enough. Boy, S&P's killing it today, man. Bitcoin, killing me in a bad way. Look at that, 56. Come on, man, let's go. All right, AO6, uh, AOD 9604, five milligram anti-obesity drug. Protocol number one, 300 micrograms, preferably in the morning while fasted, before cardio, or one hour before your first meal. Protocol number two by Dr. Seeds, 250 micrograms fasted in the morning and 250 micrograms before bedtime, one to four hours after your last meal. <clears throat> so with this, one to four hours after your last meal, this all depends on if you're on the uh, Reda, Trutide, Terzepatide, or Semaglutide, because that all slows your digestive down. So they usually say 90 minutes after you eat, but this could be well after four hours uh, if you're on if you're on those uh, peptides also, because I notice, dude, my digestion gets slowed down uh, big time. And usually on, usually when I'm at home or not at the firehouse, like I'm more structured at the firehouse. But usually at home, I'll eat before I go to bed. Usually like 10 o'clock at night. So this isn't kind of doesn't work for me. Okay. <clears throat> now taking it in the morning works for me. But usually what I'll do, as long as you're fasted, so if you're fasted in the middle of the day or it's been hours without food, you know, then, then you could use, you know, utilize this AOD, which would be good. Um, <clears throat> usually when I get up in the middle of the night, use the restroom. It's like, it's usually like three o'clock in the morning, I'll come into the kitchen and I'll do some researching on this. You know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do is uh, mix one cc bacterial style water, AKA 100 units into the vial. Our dose is, uh, we got five milligrams in the vial. So we're gonna inject five units for 200 micro, 250 micrograms and six units for 300 micrograms. So let me show you how that looks real quick. Let me pull up a uh, peptide calculator, history. Here we go. All right, let's see. Dose of peptides, all right. 0.25 milligrams. Remember now, here we go. So, one milligram is a thousand micrograms, okay? So, 2.25 milligram is going to be 250 micrograms, all right? So, here's our dose here. Peptide strength, we got five milligrams, the dry weight of the drug in there. I just went over this in my video, all right? Bacterial stat warning, we're gonna mix one cc. Now my correction said I would do five units, or my calculations would be five units. Boom! Nailed it again, all right? Now if we want 300, if we want to change this to, this is gonna be 0 0.3, 0 0.3, okay? Submit. Six units. All right, let's do it. Let's mix it up. <clears throat> Misha, what are you doing? All right. I got my little trusty stand right here. Since I suck at making videos, okay? All right. Here we go. AOD 96.04, five milligrams right here. What we're gonna do, our bacterial stat water. Pop these off, okay. Sterilize our injection ports. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so remember how to do this. Pull back one cc of air. Remember, cc's and milliliters are the same thing, all right? ML's and cc's are the same thing. Inject one cc of 
they're in. <clears throat> Take out one cc fluid. We already cleaned the top of this. You can wipe it again if you want. There. Dude, you know how hard it is to hold this thing without shaking? It doesn't look like I'm shaking, but in the camera it does. <clears throat> It's all mixing up nice and easy. All right. Now I'll hold this down to equalize the pressure in here. I'll just pull this plunger off. Now the pressure's all equalized in here. Okay. Oh, I'm sure I'll get yelled at about these peptide babies. Oh, you're too rough with them. You just broke the peptide chain by dropping the vial like that. All right. So. What we'll do now, so obviously, sometimes this AOD is, takes longer than other uh, peptides to mix in. So I'll either hold it, and usually the warmth in my hand will mix that in. It usually takes a couple minutes. Or sometimes I'll take like a little warm, uh, some warm water in like a little shot glass and stick it in there, and it usually melts in pretty quick. But if it doesn't do it on its own, that's the trick she can do. So basically, all we're gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a little bit up here, all right? So since the pressure, since it's equal and there's no negative vacuum in here because we pulled the plunger out. So we're gonna take our 0.30 unit syringe, which is 0 0.3 cc syringe, all right? And our dose is five units, pull back five units. That's gonna give us 250 micrograms, all right? So. You put five units of air in, and then you just pull five units. See, that's the problem with these. These easy touches, that's the problem with these things, man. They don't, it's cavitating. It's not coming in. See that? Nothing's coming in. That's the problem I don't like with these easy touches. So, but basically you would, uh, look, now it's working. So there, so I got five, pull back five, see that? How's the camera at? All right, and then that would be your dose right there. But I'm gonna inject this back in and let this finish mixing up. And that's it, done. Bada bing.